Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will be explaining you about how to render the images vertically in Flutter. So for that I have opened a Flutter project and in that I am using the main.dart file right now. And this is the basic code which you will get when you create a Flutter project. So uh, since we don't require all of these codes, uh, we will just remove this class here that is my home page and we'll write our own code for that and in this we'll remove the title as well okay. and since we need to display the images for that we need the images first and here uh, in this file structure as you can see I have added a folder called as assets and in that I have added four images so uh, like since we have added the images in our assets, we also need to tell the Flutter. Flutter uses pubspec.yaml file located at the root of our project. So here it is. And it like it is used to identify the assets required by the app. So as we can see here, in order to add the assets to our application, we just need to uncomment it. And we need to modify the path of our images. So for that, I'll just write assets slash one dot jpg, which is the name of my first uh, first image. And similarly, I'll add for the rest and change the name accordingly. And now just save this. Let's come to our main.dart file and now we need to create our class my home page. So for that we'll create a class uh, that is my home page which extends stateless widget. So for that I'll just write this and name the class as my home page. And what I'm planning to do in my app is like I'll have a screen which will have an app bar and the images will be displayed one after the other vertically. So for creating an, an app bar, I will use the scaffold. And using the scaffold, I can create app bar. So I'll write it. And in the app bar, when we need to add the title, we need to use the text widget to enter whatever we need in the title. So I will just uh, like uh, label it as vertical, vertical layout. Okay, so by using this, we have created an uh, app bar. And after creating an app bar, we need to add the images. And in order to add the images, I will uh, wrap the image with the card widget because I want my images to be elevated and we can uh, show this elevation effect by using card that, like since we have to display the images one by one uh, one by one in a column fashion so we have to use column widget so for that I'll use body and with that I'll use column and within column I'm gonna add my all images so to represent each images I will wrap each image with a card and this card is used here uh, just for elevation effect so I'll add this and within the children I'll add card with the elevation as 10 and child as image dot asset which is used to represent a uh, image and in this I'll add the name uh, the path of my image file that is asset slash one dot jpg uh, now I'll just format the code and here we have seen like here we can see that I can represent one image using this card uh, this card widget so I'll just copy it and do the same for all the images. Okay, just a second. Control. So 
so I just need to change the name of the images this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 so basically what this code should do is that like it should represent it should show an app bar and along with it it should show the images below that so let me save this code and let me refresh Uh, the problem here which we can see is that bottom overflowed uh, by some amount of pixels and it won't show all the images uh, this is because like the size of the images which we are using like can't be accommodated in one screen so for that what we can do is we can wrap the column widget with single child scroll view single child scroll view okay and now if we save it let us check it and once we save it we can find that this whole thing is scrollable and we can see all the images you can also see that the spacing between these two images is very less like all the images is very less and you can't see the elevation properly so for that what I'm going to do is I'll add padding P -A -D -D. Yes. and with padding as edge insets dot only and in that I'll assign only the bottom with 30 p yeah so now I will add the padding uh, after each image so I will just copy this and paste it after each card now let me save my code and see okay so you can see that spacing has been added here or padding has been added so our app looks much better now and in case you want to change the color of app bar what you can do is just add background color and i like to use purple so i'll use the purple color okay now save it now you can see that the app bar color has been changed to purple so this is the end of this video tutorial so if you like if you like my videos just like just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you